Good morning. Just before starting, some administrative notes for everybody. Uh, just the working languages of this particular conference and exhibition will be English and French. The English translation will be provided on the channel number one, and the French translation will be provided on the channel number two. And the full, full so-called floor streaming will be on channel number zero. Actually, I'd like to draw attention to some very interesting application before introducing our panelists. For creating the paperless environment, the mobile application uh, was developed by World Customs Organization. This application provides us more information about agenda about the speakers of this particular conference, and the participants can find this application by browsing, for example, 2017 WCITC without any kind of space and the capital letters. Also, be, we'll be very happy if you follow us on Twitter account as well at mark 2017 WCOITC and share the information and comments through hashtag 2017 WCOITC. So that was a kind of information. Now, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you here. First Deputy Prime Minister, Secretary General, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Very good morning and welcome to Georgia. Revenue surveys of the Ministry of Finance of Georgia is pleased to host 2017 WCO IT conference exhibition in the capital city of Tbilisi. We are thankful to World Customs Organization, to our exhibitors, to sponsors, for everything that we've done together in order to come to this particular point, that we are together here. We are pleased to welcome the delegates from all over the world, and we're extremely convinced that from today, together with you, we'll be striving to create another platform for exploring new trends of strategic approaches, concentrating on the following theme, power of data, advancing border management. If we analyze the existing reality that we come across nowadays, we can acknowledge that the efficiency and effectiveness of the border management can be reflected only in active and reasonable analysis of the data. And consequently, only afterwards, we can have effective and efficient decision-making process in overall. We are together here today, all of us, to discuss all the possible ways of managing data to enhance the border management with the active involvement of all the IT solutions. Now, having the honor to open 2017 World Customs Organization IT Conference Exhibition, may I kindly ask the first Deputy Prime Minister of Georgia, Minister of Finance of Georgia, Mr. Dimitri Kumsishvili, for his welcoming speech. Please, sir, the floor is yours. Your Excellency, Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, Mr. Kunio Mikuria, Excellencies, dear colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure and honor to welcome all of you to the World Customs Organization conference and exhibition devoted to modern information and communication technology. The fact that this is already the 16th international conference organized under the patronage of the World Customs Organization demonstrates the importance of the information and communication technology in the further progress of the customs. I highly appreciate the opportunity given to us by the World Customs Organization Secretariat to host this conference in the capital city of Georgia. Tbilisi, at the very moment when Georgia is on the path of re-establishing itself as a major trade and transit hub, not only for our immediate region, but also as one of the key links between Europe and Asia. Further, I would like to express the heartfelt thanks to the Korean Customs Service, sponsors, exhibitors, speakers, organizers, and most importantly you, 
due to whose efforts and active involvement we can devote it upcoming days to exploration of the modern information and communication technology. Before touching the main theme of the conference, I would like to give you a brief summary of the most important trends in the recent economic development of Georgia. As you may already know, Georgia is a small open economy with an area of 70,000 square kilometers and population of the 3.7 million people and GDP of the 10,000 international dollars per capita. Our economy during the last period has faced a very challenging external environment. Since last quarter of 2014, the economy was exposed to significant external shocks. Despite that, economic growth averaged 2.8% in 2015 and 2016, the highest among the Georgians' main trading partners, excluding China and Turkey. Our economic growth model is inclusive. During the last three years, the unemployment decreased significantly from 15% to 12%, and this decline is mostly private sector driven. Economy exhibits positive dynamic in 2017. In particular, real GDP grow, grew by 5% year to year during the first quarter. Impressive progress is observed in the export. In four months, revenue from the merchandise exports has increased by the 30%. Tourist sector was booming in 2016, increasing by 15% and reaching 6.4 million international visitors. The trend of double-digit growth in the tourism is observed this year as well. Georgia embraces international free trade. We have deep and comprehensive free trade agreement with the European Union and the free trade agreement with the China. Free trade are in place with the CIS countries and Turkey. This trade regime opened to the business established in Georgia barrier-free access to the markets of 2.3 billion consumers. In addition, being located right on the crossroads and having easy land, maritime, and air access, we are investing heavily in developing modern transport and energy infrastructure that can serve the intra- and interregional trade and transit. Next to the strategic location on the shortest route connecting Asia with Europe, we have also worked hard to develop the business-friendly and secure environment. I would like to put this special emphasis to the fact that the Georgia is one of the lowest tax burden countries with a very simple tax structure and streamlined regulations for the businesses. Our simple and streamlined customs procedures are closely aligned with the international best practices. In 2017 year, doing business ranking, Georgia takes 16 place in the world among 190 countries. The index of economic freedom of the Heritage Foundation ranks Georgia 13th out of 180 countries. In 2014 and 15, Georgia was ranked among the top 10 safest countries. In 2017, country took the seventh place with the crime index among 190 25 countries. The government of Georgia committed to further extensive the reforms. Our government has initiated new reform program, which we called Four Point Reform Agenda. The plan embraces our four strategic direction. For sure, it is the educational reform, aiming at supporting the skills development through bridging the gap between demand and supply promotion of the vocational education, fundamental reforms in the general and higher education systems will guarantee increased overall skill level of the local labor force leading to increase in employment and wages. Economic reforms, directed to implement the growth-oriented reforms to provide the country with the proper legal base and institutional development that are of significant importance for encouraging economic prosperity improving business and investment environment, including intra alia implementation of the tax reform will ensure the entrepreneurship and job creation. Construction of the backbone infrastructure will ensure the proper transportation and communication network all across the country. 
which will enhance the Georgia's integration in the world trade and provide the bigger range of the touristic potential. The government of Georgia has planned to accelerate infrastructure development. In 2017-21, 5 billion United States dollars will be spent to finalize east-west highway and source north trade corridors, new roads, bridges and tunnels connecting Georgia with all its neighboring countries and interrelating all regions across the country. Georgia has a potential to form the transport and logistic hub between the Europe and Asia and to enhance its role in the world economic and security system. Modern technologies and standards will become more accessible for the regions. In addition, interconnection will increase the quality of the life of the local population through increasing access to the health care and education. Regions, regions will be able to highly integrate in economic development of the country. Infrastructural development will have a significant impact on the Georgia's tourism potential, making travel safer, faster, and easier. Georgia is a part of a Silk Road, one belt, one road, along with the construction of the East-West Highway. Railway modernization project and Anaclia Deep Sea Port project will be implemented, enhancing Georgia transit potential and forming the country as a regional logistic hub. Transportation across the One Belt, One Road Central Corridor, which passes through Georgia, is much safer, time-consuming, and competitive compared to other routes. Within the framework of reforms, one of the milestones shall be increased usage of the information and communication technologies. In order to address upcoming challenges as well as to continue simplification of the interaction between the governmental agencies and business communities. ICT is the key to a profound modernization of the governments, economics, and the society. It affects all aspects of the economy and is not limited to only a few sectors. Persons working in the agriculture, tourism, transport, logistics, and international trade, banking, manufacturing, and data fields are all confronted with the ICT-enabled development process. Hence, resource mobilization to promote the development in the ICT area is a top priority of the government of Georgia. In 2014, a four-year E Georgia strategy was approved. The vision of the strategy is to establish a more efficient and effective public sector offering integrated, secure, and high-quality services. The strategy focus on those potential fields where the public sector is able to take the measurement and set framework to exploit the full potential of the ICT. The role of the government is to stimulate innovation in the public, private, and civil sector to ensure the sustainable economic growth. The thematic priorities of the strategy are grouped into the service area, future excellence, ICT enablers, and well, as well as the horizontal measures such as the enabling frameworks and governance and awareness. Ministries and governmental agencies are developing e-government systems throughout the country, introducing many services. Reforms implemented in the public finance man management system are worth special mention. Reforms, among others, include the tax and customs management software platform developed by the Revenue Service of the Ministry of Finance of Georgia. Northworthy dimension that the extensive use of the modern information technology applications in the tax administration process, as well as the willingness to innovate innovation, was defined as one of the main strengths of the Georgian Revenue Service by international recognized TADAT assessment. Speaking of the customs reform in particular, I would like to emphasize that Georgian customs has been distinguished with the successful and effective reforms being recognized in the international customs community. We are proud to be example for our partners in the region. Reforms implemented in the customs field are multidimensional and cover all aspects related to the customs procedures, starting with the creation of the appropriate and, and conventional legal system 
and ending with one of the important pillars in order to guarantee the smooth movement of the people. Cargo and transport means at the border crossing points, infrastructural projects and equipment provisions. As for the infrastructural development since 2010, construction of the so-called the customs clearance zone we introduced in the different regions of Georgia. Customs clearance zone is a large clearance centers covering the several hectares with the special parking area for the hundreds of trucks. Customs clearance zone conducted the air, land, railway, and sea cargo clearance while offering unique service of the customs declaration, submission, and all the related procedures giving the possibility to the economic agents to benefit from one shop stop principle. The Customs Clearance Zone staff provides the economic agents with the advanced review and preparation of the documents based on the online electronic submission. It is possible to serve unlimited number of the economic operators in 24-7 regime. For clearance of the goods, the economic operators does not have to hire the broker, agent, declarant, or other intermediary and incur high cost for their services. The bank and the invoice translation service can be offered directly at the customs clearance zone. All the business process have been tracked in the system. All procedures are registered. All decision makers, field officers, economic operators, intermediaries and transport companies are identified, thus making the whole supply chain very transparent. Let me say a couple of words about the agreements and the international projects implemented to support the ICT development. Georgia has concluded the association agreement with Europe, including the Deep and Comprehensive Free Trade Area Agreement. To comply with the commitments of the approximation with the European Union regulatory framework for the electronic communication and audio visual media and e-commerce law of Georgia has been elaborated according to the e-commerce directive and the obligation coming from the DCFTA rights and obligations of the intermediary service providers we are defined. Georgia together with the Eastern Partnership countries and EU member states is actively involved in the harmonizing the digital markets project. The project aims at promotion and harmonization of the digital markets between the European Union and the Eastern Partnership countries through implementation of the joint programs and harmonization and integration of national ICT policy, administrative and technology system. All above mentioned proves that Georgia, as the member of the world community, makes its best endeavors to develop more informative and effective data-driven decision-making system through so using the ICT tools, ensuring the high standard of transparency in the public se sector and inclusive development. The topic to be discussed during the conference are e-commerce, single window, big data, data governance and integrated supply chain management. Speakers invited are experts with valuable and sound experience in ICT area. They will share with us the new trends and opportunities. Once used reasonably, can facilitate communication between trade sector, border agencies, and the private sector. I wish a very good success to the participants. I trust that the next several days of the event will be fruitful and interesting for you. You will have an opportunity to learn a lot about innovations and share your experience. Finally, despite intensive work schedule, I believe you will have a chance to explore the history, culture and beauty of Tbilisi, enjoy Georgian cuisine and especially Georgian wine. Dear participants, welcome again to the World Customs Organization Conference and exhibition on the modern information and communication technologies. Warm welcome. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, now I kindly ask Mr. Georgi Tabuashvili, the first Deputy Minister of Finance and Director General of Georgia Revenue Service to take the floor. Please, sir. Your Excellency, Secretary General of the World Customs Organization, Mr. Kunio Nikuria, First Deputy Prime Minister, distinguished guests and speakers, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to everyone and thank you for joining us at the World Customs Organization's Conference on, International, on Information and Communication Technology. To our eminent speakers, and delegates who have come from all over the world, I extend a warm, very warm welcome to Tbilisi. A small lyric digression. The name Tbilisi derives from the old Georgian word Tbili, that means warm. Hope you will fully feel the warmth of our city, both in terms of the weather and treatment. We are indeed honored to have about 500 participants from up to 80 countries gathered here today, making our conference a truly international one. There is no doubt that 21st century, in the 21st century, the main driving force of efficient and successful business process is information. The efficient and effective decision making and implementation, target goal achievement depends on reliable, accurate and high quality information. The main topic of today's conference, the power of data, advancing border management, fully responds to the above disposition. The global supply chain, increased volume of international trade, and most importantly, progress achieved in the fields of information and communication technology, triggered basic changes to the agenda of customs organizations and other state authorities involved in the border control process. Approaches to the customs control and monitoring procedures have been fundamentally changed. First of all, information carriers are changed. Nowadays, paper documents are converted into digital form. Although material documents are still used for customs control purposes, we still make manual notes, make, uh, marking validation of submitted documents about performed and to be performed activities on customs or border control agency side. Similarly, we create a digital version of each paper-based document, analyze and process obtained data, report electronically on the activities performed and outcomes achieved. Changes to the information carrier tools drastically change approaches to the generating, transmitting, processing and analyzing data, thus playing an invaluable role in border control process. Therefore, we shall ask the legitimate question, what is the role of the customs and other government authorities regulating the border crossing process in the world of fundamental changes that is taking place every day? How the interests of the country and functions of the customs administrations, society and environmental security can be protected in the constantly developing process of the information and communication technology. What impact does the information and communication technology have in relation between states and the private sector? In our deep belief, notwithstanding the, their different functions, all other agencies involved in the management shall cooperate and coordinate closely to achieve the common goals and promote development. As a result, we could achieve better service, less duplication of functions, saving on expenditures from scale economy, decrease of control measures due to the uh, increased volume of exchanged information that could be obtained from different sources that increase effectiveness and targeted a timely control, thus increasing the level of voluntary compliance, decreasing the cost of the transactions and transportation, on improving the relevant infrastructure. All of these are the fundamental cornerstone for strengthening the relationship between all partner countries and administration. This kind of cooperation directly contributes to the increase of comparative competitiveness of the country. And the last but not least, 
it shall be mentioned that when we are discussing the integrated border management and, uh, and coordination, due consideration shall be given to its international characteristics of and format. To continue on this same note and further contribute to international characteristics of integrated border management, I am very honored to announce that in the frame of this conference, the agreement between the government of Georgia and the government of the Republic of Kazakhstan on organizing the exchange of advanced information on transport means and cargo will be signed today. This agreement will further co contribute to deepen the cooperation between our countries and will for sure upgrade our relationship on a higher level. And as a result, we will have decreased the administrative, administrative costs and increased effectiveness for promoting the stable development for our economies. At a given moment, we provide electronic exchange of real-time information with Turkey and Azerbaijan on summer declaration. The agreement was signed within the frame of Guam Organization on Implementation of Information Exchange Project between Guam member countries Georgia, Ukraine, Moldova, Azerbaijan. Similar project is already under implementation with Armenia. It is a custom peculiarity to demand various information. Efficient management system requires for any information data related to a single transaction, data processing and analyzing. Revenue service observes the whole chain of supply, starting with customs clearance until the delivery to the end user. Just imagine what amount and variety of information does revenue service obtain from the documents such as passports, driving license, permit for international transportation, licenses and permits of goods and services subject to the uh, restriction, weight invoices, certificate of origin, different types of transport document, manifest packaging list, x-ray images, images, tax returns, cash receipts, commodity way bills, primary tax documents, financial statements, etc. It also worth to mention that because of the rise volume on Internet of Things, customs are gaining a new capacity of obtaining information without having formal documents in case of high risk of goods or initiatives from the company. We believe that you are also of the same opinion that the information provided in above mentioned documents has its true value only if it is received electronically, that gives us possibility to process and analyze the received data effectively via mutual compatibility and usage of information and communication technology. As a result of this process, it is possible to make data-driven decisions within a short period of time in the dynamic and operational environment in which the customs administrations are operating. An improved system of data processing and analysis will upgrade the customs administration to the new level of voluntary compliance which would, be, uh, which would enable customs administrations to enhance the risk assessment, identify the errors and violations, and in timely manner neutralize its harmful effects, identify illegal movement of goods, detect suspicious traffic of individuals and financial flows, and promote the legitimate trade, examine, the, examine and learn the previous behavior of the traveler and subject of economic activity in order to enable correct forecasting. Cooperate with the other government authorities and use their experience and expertise knowledge. Perform the different types of research for increased level of knowledge and exp uh, expertise. Intensify the performance indicators. Based on all about mentioned, it's obvious that World Customs Organization has dedicated International Customs Day 2017 to date to data analysis, the theme of which is data analysis for effective border management. As you know, based on the specific of state regulatory policy, border control agencies need to possess information on natural persons and their activities, as well as information on goods and means of transport. It may happen that uh, required information is provided repeatedly or provided through different tools and dif in different formats. In addition, most of them require cost-checking. Further different state agencies may have access 
to this information at different time of period. According to the current situation, Revenue Service cooperates on a data exchange with State Treasury Agency in respect of electronic payments, with means of internal affairs in respect of vehicle registrations, means of justice in respect of property, legal entity or seizure registration, means of agriculture in respect of goods subject to veterinary, phytosanitary and sanitary control, means of labor, health and social affairs in respect of pharmaceutical products, financial monitoring service in respect of border cash movement. It was of special mention a new project developed by the Revenue Service of Georgia based on single window principle, electronic platform, permit platform, where economic agent may require 20 different types of per permits issued by six different agencies. This is a perfect illustration of how private and public interests can be matched up. It's, it's natural that an economic agent eager to obtain permit in the shortest time with minimal efforts and financial expenses in return. It is state agency's objective to obtain approved information about final balance of amount of licensed goods after import export procedures are performed in a timely manner. The new platform is actively used by custom service as well since it allows to obtain permit data electronically before conducting of import-export transactions. But w when we are talking about custom service, we should remember about one of the most important functions imposed on, up, imposed up on customs administration, revenue. The progress achieved in this direction is obvious and implies not only electronic payments when tax amounts are immediately displayed on the treasury accounts, but also automatic balancing of taxpayers' payments, making it possible to offset overpayments for any tax or customs liabilities owed by the taxpayers. Another example of good achievement is, a, is automatic VAT refund program, where through risk-based evaluation of uh, refund claims, excess credits are automatically refundable. By introducing above system, we automatize uh, payment enforcement measures. These and more ongoing projects developing by the Revenue Service will in more details be discussed and presented by our colleague, Mr. Mamuka Mamukalashvili. Please allow me to pay your attention to one of the fundamental aspects, which is transparency of the custom system, to maintain confidence between the state and the private sector. Substantial role in this, project, in this process has information and communication technologies. Since the electronic system is performing the real-time recording of the action of any person involved in the business process, including the revenue service officer, therefore the determining factors of each decision, decision making, maker, executive, execution process, outcome and economic agents feedback information could be easily could easily be tracked. As a result, the immediate reactions to any deviation from the norms is possible and gives opportunity to execute relevant actions in a timely and efficient manner. It should be also noted that the information collected over the years has enabled us to create an electronic data bank of economic activities, which according to the decision of revenue service is accessible for taxpayers via taxpayers' personal pages. As a result, taxpayers has use-friendly electronic library which contains any documents submitted by him or her to the revenue service as well as any action performed by revenue service toward the company. This even further strengthened the partnership between administration and the business. As a result, all of the above mentioned, the revenue service is the leader organization in the country according to size of its database. For the period of 2017-2020, it remains top priority for revenue service to further improve its uh, database and electronic system. Therefore, the topics such as e-commerce, single window, data government, big data, blockchain, integrated supply chain management, etc., are very crucial for further development of our administration. At the end, I would like to thank 
WCO Secretariat, Correct Custom Service, sponsors, exhibitors, participants, and technical staff for your support in making this conference possible. Of course, my sincere appreciation goes to our team at the Revenue Service, dedicating all their best endeavors to the success of this very important conference. I think that now they be considered as well prepared for the hosting another event of WCO. In closing, I encourage delegates to participate actively in the interesting discussions over the next three days. I wish everyone a successful and fruitful conference with many shared good memories in Tbilisi and a pleasant experience during your stay in Georgia. Thank you. Thank you. For the next, I'd like to invite to the floor Mr. Kunio Mikuria, Secretary General of World Customs Organization. Please, sir. Honorable First Deputy Prime Minister, Excellencies, colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure and honor for me uh, to be here in Tbilisi and uh, um, open uh, this uh, IT conference of 2017. First of all, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation uh, to Georgia for hosting this event and also warm hospitality. Uh, most of us already enjoyed uh, um, warm, uh, very good reception uh, last evening. Uh, and we enjoyed uh, um, Georgian wine and uh, very repeated uh, good uh, food and uh, a very warm environment. And uh, um, well, uh, that created a very good uh, atmosphere uh, to be relaxed. And uh, I was also told to get rid of my tie so that we can be more relaxed because we are dealing with a sufficient um, the, um, uh, well, serious agenda. So uh, we need more relaxed and uh, having a more innovative uh, mindset. Well, uh, this morning I took the liberty to walk around uh, this area. Um, from this hotel, we already have a breathtaking view uh, of Tbilisi. Uh, but uh, also, uh, it's a very beautiful street, uh, historical, cultural, and uh, um, I went to downtown area, and uh, um, I wondered how Georgia, with such a thousand years of history and culture, built up uh, this uh, use of technology and moving towards uh, a tra major trading and transit hub. So this is a really uh, good, uh, um, well, mindset which is uh, supported by uh, information technology. And um, I was also um, well, uh, told that uh, um, this conference uh, um, already very um, good uh, uh, turnout. Uh, there are more than 500 participants from 80 countries registered. And uh, um, the organizer tried to get uh, um, more women uh, as uh, speakers, contributors, uh, because uh, um, this year we also uh, promote women in customs. And uh, um, uh, more than 50% 50, 50 of um, well, moderators are women. The other is, of course, men. So uh, that is already uh, a good indication. Um, as always, I uh, express my sincere appreciation to Korean Customs Service uh, for uh, uh, supporting uh, this event and uh, um, many sponsors from the private sector. Uh, if you go out, uh, there is IT exhibition and uh, this is where you can see state-of-the-art uh, um, technology or technology which is readily available uh, to customs. And quite often, uh, this is uh, where you exchange views between um, customs and the private sector, because we also promote uh, public-private sec sector partnership. Uh, well, uh, private sector is good at using technology, and uh, um, well, uh, public sector customs try to work with uh, the private sector. 
and uh, uh, this result uh, quite often in very good use another best practice of how to use information technology. And also um, the IT conference is usually preceded by regional uh, workshop on data model uh, with the funding of Japan and uh, um, uh, so people are already uh, were immersed into the uh, environment where they can think more flexibly and uh, um, more attuned to the world uh, environment where we uh, operate. Well, um, each year WCO sets a theme of the year and um, IT conference quite often reflects that uh, theme. Last year when we organized IT conference in Dakar, Senegal, uh, the theme of that year was digital customs and uh, um, the conference uh, um, uh, examined that concept of digital customs from all aspects and also got very good feedback from the private sector uh, how to uh, to be how customs can um, well um, keep pace with the development of digital technology but um, what is the major well um, contribution of digital customs it is the availability of data and now data has become ubiquitous and uh, um, uh, big data is what uh, um, people are talking about but how we can use this data so this is why this year's theme of the WCO is data, data analysis, and of course, power of data, uh, which is very well reflected in this IT conference. Well, uh, big data is fine, but uh, um, we, uh, we shouldn't be overwhelmed by data, but uh, how uh, we can um, do data mining, uh, data analytics, this is what I expect that we hear from our customer administration, what they have achieved, what they are trying to achieve, and also the private sector, their wisdom, how customers can make use of this big data, data availability, and which will move into, well, data governance. Because, um, well, what the customers need is that data should be available. Um, that means that uh, this data quality is very important. How to make sure that, that the data quality, which comes from the private sector uh, initially, and also um, uh, data harmonization is important. And try to make out from data some meaningful, um, well, um, material for decision making and risk management. That is what uh, we are aiming at. Well, um, this abund abundance of data result in, uh, the, in the private sector con uh, context, uh, it is e-commerce. And uh, e-commerce is a new challenge and opportunity for the private sector, business, but also customs. Um, well, already the, the first deputy prime minister talked about uh, e-commerce, but uh, e-commerce is a game changer and uh, um, uh, we customers need to address that issue and uh, with the help of uh, the private sector um, input. Also, uh, customs is trying to improve business environment and um, at the borders, it is not only customs, but other government agencies are also uh, functioning. So this is why single window is a very important topic uh, with which customs can, well, provide a platform for other government agencies to uh, interface with the private sector that are, well, are doing uh, um, trade um, over borders. And uh, this conference, uh, uh, there is a new topic that uh, um, nowadays we hear blockchain. What is blockchain? Uh, it's not only cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin, but uh, now uh, in well, uh, many areas uh, we can uh, make use of uh, this uh, blockchain in logistic area. How we can do that? That is an, another of very interesting topic uh, of this conference. And of course, in the end, what we want to see is um, better border management or integrated border management. And um, I expect that we can hear a very good discussion 
for the future of customs and um, partnership with the business uh, in that uh, um, um, space. Um, well, WCO has been trying to provide uh, um, uh, standards, uh, guidelines, and best practice, and in all those areas, um, based on the outcome of this conference, uh, we would like to develop more guidelines and uh, best practices. But also, we provide assistance uh, to our members. And uh, in this connection, uh, WCO has uh, well, uh, been providing a um, cargo targeting system, which is to make sure that uh, um, customs uh, get uh, data, uh, pre-arrival data, and uh, make uh, risk management at the early stage. And um, we have decided to make our uh, WCO cargo training system um, publicly available, especially the source code. Uh, we open the source code and, uh, um, uh, to, uh, for the benefit of WCO members and the business, private sector present here, so that uh, they can adapt and enhance the system uh, if they wish. Uh, now we are working um, hard to uh, make that source code available on the website, uh, on the development platform uh, uh, by the end of this year. Of course, WCO will continue to provide um, um, assistance and deploy um, uh, con uh, cargo targeting system to WCO members that request. And uh, um, this uh, new approach of, uh, well, garnering uh, support and wisdom of uh, um, other uh, members and the private sector will further encourage innovations and enhancement uh, that will uh, benefit all. Well, um, so uh, this uh, conference uh, has a lot of uh, good speakers and um, good opportunity uh, for uh, for you to engage. Uh, there are many interesting round tables and the tech talks of tomorrow is usually very popular uh, because in a s small group you can directly interface uh, uh, between uh, participants. And uh, um, I look forward to a very good deliberation and once again I would like to express my appreciation for Georgia and uh, um, all supporters but you who participated and, and uh, to, to the, in this conference and make a contribution to the development of customs, trade, and for the betterment of the world. Thank you very much. Thank you for your words. I really liked, you know, the women in power and just uh, actually women can advance lots of in customs as well so i do support totally this particular approach as well thank you and for the next speaker it's my pleasure to introduce mr john monglu director general of information international affairs bureau from the korea customs service please sir the floor is yours Mr. Dimitri Kumshishibili, first Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance of Georgia, Mr. Kunia Mikuria, Secretary General of the WCO, officials of the government of Georgia who made this conference possible, delegates from WCO members and the international organizations, IT experts, and distinguished guests. For the 2017, WCI conference and exhibition. I would like to express my deepest congratulations for holding today's conference in Tbilisi. This Georgian capital has a centuries long history and a remarkable name in Georgia, a warm place. It is also my pleasure to speak in front of you on behalf of the Korea Customs Service. The WCO IT conference was first held in Brussels, Belgium in February 2002. 
15 years late, right here in Tbilisi today, this event marks its 17th anniversary. The IT conference gives us an opportunity to talk about how to use cutting edge technologies as effectively as possible to advance customs procedures and promote global trade. Also, in recent years, there has been a rapid development of IT and related industries. We call this trend the fourth industrial revolution. All eyes of the world are now on the impact of this technological advance on all aspects of our lives. To keep up with this trend, the WCO chose data analysis for effective board management as this year's slogan. To emphasize how important it is to use data and IT in customs procedures. So it would be no exaggeration to say that today's IT conference is one of the most important opportunities for us to envision the future of global trade and the customs community with our coming fourth industrial, industrial revolution. The Korea Customs Service has been sponsoring the IT conference with its Customs Cooperation Fund since 2015. On behalf of my agency, I look forward to many meaningful achievements from this year's conference. Distinguished guests, I hope you would have, you'd have a pleasant time here at this conference, sharing your experiences and the latest technologies. And once again, I would like to extend my gratitude to the government of Georgia for their hard work. I also thank the distinguished delegates and guests for your presence here with us today. And I would like to promise that Korea Customs Service will stay committed to the advancement of the customs community worldwide. Thank you very much.